everyone, Son of Beast here. Welcome to the second game of tonight's doubleheader. The Kraken are ready to do it again to face against the Los Angeles Kings here back at Climate Pledge Arena. Now this is tough now because if they don't win for the Kings and if they lose, then they will be out. If Seattle loses the game, then the Kings will be back on the run. So this means it's a win or go home for Los Angeles. Will they gather back, or will Seattle Kraken move on for the first time in a conference finals to face against the winning team? Now it's time to send you over to Seattle. As standing by, we have his paintbrush along with the 2K, along with the commentator of the crew, light bulb, and finally the center ice. We have his me phone. I'll be back with the post-game show of the three star players and the total statistics for the Kraken and Kings of their shots and sometimes with the statistics in game four. Now it's on to you two guys enjoy your next game of the double header and tomorrow night will be the Hurricane and Rangers at the Garden and Avalanche against the Wilds at Ball Arena. That'll be the next one to keep your eyes here right along the edge for tomorrow night. See you all later after this. Hello everyone, Paintbrush along with the Climate Pledge Arena, it's game time! As game four starts for Kraken and Kings, it's a win or go home for Los Angeles. Along with me, along with the broadcasting partner here with Lightbulb, this is NHL on the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. We're about to get started here at Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle, let's get started! The courtesy line is being here as follows. We have his Everly. Then right for the other angle we have his Veneers. Right to where again we have his McCann. Then by the other hand for the Kings we have his Byfield. Then is Anze Kopitar. Then Adrian Kempe right into the middle. Then we have his Vince Dunn. Then it's Veneers right towards the on the, the right wing. And in the middle right now we have across from here. And this one will be will be Dawn will be Arvidsson. Anderson is right towards the wing on the side. And the starting goaltender for the Kings will be Corbizalo. Other side, Larson. And finally for the goal goaltender for the Kraken, we have is Martin Jones. Martin Jones really has done really impressive for everyone else to keep that one in front of it. I know they were able to do that one good. Since for the last part of the game here for the regular season, they've made it all the way down to handle the run to make the playoffs out there. But sometimes their run was a big wasteful time. They never really seen how they were going to get there right at this instant. They were trying to keep it out of here at the same time, but it's not really that easy. But they are really are going for it again. Arvidsson lost the puck, and Wenberg will try to give it over to Schwartz. Schwartz right towards the right wing. With the shot, Corpusala save, and Anderson will take it over for the other end, right to Kopitar. Kings are on a fast break. Arvidsson shot, put a rebound in, and it's Jones trying to hail it out. Schwartz right over into again to Donato. Donato right into the center of the zone. From the right wing, it's bad out of here. Osayek gives it over to Tolmanen. The puck clears out as all mans are out of here. Now they're back in the zone. Good stop made by Corpusalo. That's four in a row for Corpusalo. He said, no, no. You can't just kind of get around me. I always have appreciated and I said, I did not move this time. It didn't really happen. That's going to be a lot of close ranging to keep it out of here. Donato into the center of the zone of the ice. Keeping the run in the move. Then stop again by Corpusalo. Seattle regaining the group here on the offense side. Now to Donato. Corpusalo with a big stop. Going to hold the whistle here at 1447 with first period. Still no score this game. We're down to get ready for the faceoff. It's still a no score of the game and the start of the period. Seattle wins the faceoff. Borjan saved by Corpusalo. He didn't go down at all. He didn't really hit hard enough, but all they can definitely say is now, he's okay. Well, keep that out of here because they were really trying to like leave it over. It didn't really approve anybody else's opinion, but this is what everyone does. 
Don't get life threatening. Here's Velarde into the into the right wing. Firing in the inbounding big shot. That will be stopped by Martin Jones and gives it over to Kiki. Now we give it over to Pushan. Pass broken up and I follow over to Lozak. Here's another angle for Lozak. Lost the puck here, but Velarde recovers it. Back right around the net. Lozak tried to kick it over. Here's a move, and Jones gives it over to Schultz. Deneb on the racing inbounding into the crack into King's territory. With the attack! Salsi right to the outside, and the middle of Giki! One time was stopped by Kupisala. Giki again, shot blocked. They're all moving around it. They really are trying to like keep it out of here. More than more ever. They are just way over it. Too hard to go with a with a heavy take run. They can't be losing it out with too many offense in the break run. If they're going to keep it over, they, they're going to need to find somebody else. Sprunch kicks the puck to Borgin. Borgin inside. That's saved by Corbizalo. Velarde right into Dursey. They run a one-on-one -on -one attack. Right now it's Dursey. With the fire in Kenyon. Stopping the bat save by Martin Jones. Borgin over right now to Sprunch into the right side. Deneb right into the acceleration. Go with the shot, and he scores! There's your goal for the Kraken! And they will start with a 1-0 lead. When you know that Brent but Deneb was going right up with the crossbar, he was really on taint. Kraken wins the faceoff, and now this one comes in, no penalty call. Gowdy right into the center of his own, gives a pass over. Now it's Everly. Take the puck over to Beniers. Beniers try to move it around it and Kayab takes the puck away. Back to Anderson Dolan. Olsaik with the puck. Toward the corner again to Beniers. Beniers trying to make an attacking run. Try to get him off of it. Kayab says no. Everly right into the zone. Now back into the Kings attacking zone. Olsaik and good stop by Corvus when Corbizello really had that one a good move, he got a great hustling inbounding. They were really all over it. Entertainment or not, they really are better than ever. Borgin right towards the, the left side of his attacker now finds McCann. McCann with the fire shot. Right over, right near the face mask, and it still stayed out of the net. Veneers right towards the in slot. Pass to Borgin. Borgin lost the puck back to Osayek. Over again to Everly. It's blocked away. Try to leave it again to Borgin. Borgin to McCann. Hide it out. Anderson right towards the wing. Finds Byfield. Byfield right into the right wing. And now inside his own is Kopitar. Hit off the skater and goes right to the wall. Kopitar again to Anderson. Fires the cannon. It's Borgin. Stop. They're all over it. Attacking the face rim, and it's now that Martin Jones is the king. They can't get rid of him because the wild card team really dumps it for successful. Schwartz lost it. Horstron went right toward the corner. Horstron and Wenberg again and went out of here. Horstron again. That still denies him out. Byfield to Dowdy. Dowdy to Kempe. On a fast break now, Kempe. Tobin receiving another pass to Wenberg. Wenberg goes up there to the wall. Roy gives it to Denault. Denault lost it and Salji back to Denault and good pass save. Denault right in the corner of the wall. Pass to Fiala. Went too late and it went stopping inbounding on Salji to Donato. All they get is just got to say, they just got to get that goal right toward it. It's not very easy when everyone keeps an inbounding. They just want to just stay close. Stay close, but it's not going to help. you got to find some more room. If you wanted to get that right away in there, you just got to like go with the flow. you got to handle it. Gavrikov right toward the corner. Los Angeles has their own possession now. They will hand it over into the attacking zone. Arvison can't get it to go. With the backhand. Oh, wild save. Martin Jones with a dive release. Went right toward the back, and he will hold it with 534 remaining. 
Here's what the cause me phone stands by. Drew Doughty, ultimate rangy, the captain of the star, really has it all. He can try to keep it focusing out of here, and he has already been showing off from his last team in a section. Vince Dunn really showing him off what he can do. It's very difficult to try to keep it over, but the range won't help. The two players are inbounding with the colliding takeover inbound. I'll be watching in player for a bounding to find out what will the next one be. Back to you. Lizette right over into the corner on the right side. And Larson will have a puck taken away. Geeky over again. It's done with the puck. Keeping out of his eye, live zone. Lizette trying to go with the backhand shot. And Jones will have to leave it here with 4.15 remaining. Inching closer to the end of the first mark of the period, Seattle earns herself to make a one nothing lead, and they are ready to do an R1. Dunn with the puck, trying to hold a release bit, and Dunn over again to Sprunch. Sprunch right towards the middle, and now in the offense on attack. Going with the slot, denied, and they get it out of here. Walker right over to the left wing to Dursey. Now Kupari right into the center and now going in again to Anderson Dolan. Kings are working their way in front of it. Denev takes the puck away. Now gives it off to Dunn. 315 remaining in the first period. Pass to Larson. Larson again to Kiki. Moves it over to Sprunge. Sprunge moves it over. That stop again with the chest saving inbound by Corpusala. They're really saying it. All that does happen now, they, they got to know that Corpus Allo really got it, all of it. He's still good at bounding. Good amount to keep it over on putting a limit in the beneath his own periods at the stop of the major time. Anderson battling for the loose puck. And Kupari will try to keep it out of here. Now Dowdy will leave it off with a new extra, with a new regroup. Wow, that's big smash. Meneers over right towards again to Olsayek. Cracking around the on the way to make the move. Kopitar takes it away. One on one attacker around him. That went too wide. Off the skater it goes. It goes to Kopitar. And Larson will have him recouping the puck and bounding to McCann. Just passing one minute to go in the first period. Forward for the canyon. Save off him bounding by Kopitar. Here's Anderson, he will take it over into the wing. I follow shot, stopped away, and it's now on the other side again. I follow to Anderson. Anderson hits the puck off again on the glove. Ooh, that was big smoke. I follow, save me, double time stop. Wenberg trying to give it over to Schwartz. Schwartz carrying it over in the offensive run to give it off to Wenberg. Wenberg and the power plays on. They are going to get a call with an elbow, no, slashing call, as Anze Kopitar is in the penalty box. There's one way that you can't just help him save a day. If you know that Kopitar really wanted to give that one a, a poke check away, you can't let that happen. You don't want to leave it off to a brutal pain injury. That's going to be a very cost for the Kings to try to keep him out of here. Power plays on for, a, for this Kraken. Arvidsson takes it over to Roy, will fire it out. And we'll leave it off with the power play advantage for the Kraken. So that will be today with the first goal in the playoffs. one nothing's where we stand. Be back after this. Welcome back to the NHL and EA Sports of the Stanley Cup playoffs about to begin the second period. And right now we're about to get started. Here is right now, Light Bulb will be taking a look at the first half, first period recap of this game, of game number four. Now, we are saying that there was one way that we can make that one hurt happen. We say that this was a very the tough and being really out with their moment. This realizes that it really has happened to most of the people at the same time. We've never seen what was going on recently, and they were really trying to get over this right away. They really are starting to get a lot of the focus on the drill sets, but for Tanev, he got that good shot right away and just made up in the start with a 1 0 lead. They've already been showing it up, but I'll be watching one of them if they can get another one in. 
Weinberg right to the right wing with the fired shot. Kukosalo save with 18.45 remaining in the second period of the game. Lots of time left in this period. Seattle Kraken, one of the newest teams in the NHL League of their franchise history, got a 1-0 lead. Dunn lost the puck here, and Lizette will try to fire it out. Now taking one over here is Tolbinick. Right over again is Schwartz. Schwartz moving inside, bring in the middle. Takes a shot right towards the back. And it's stopped again here by, by Corpozella. Dursey has it over across here. Fire it out. He's almost ready to get out of here. And the power play is over for Seattle Kraken. Didn't get the shot right away, but it was all that did turn out. Very well done. And terrific play of this one, the defensive and the defense, that the Kings are trying to keep them out of here for as one moment impossible without putting a sea monster right in the net. They're really are trying to, like, take it out of here and then make it go. They're doing really well. I'm just trying to, like, stay out of it. Here's Skyrokov. He will start it off. Passes over to Denault. Pass to Fiala. Here on the wing center to Denault. Shot! And went wide. Denault tried to reset it over. Go right for the backhand. And to McGinney scores! There's your goal in game four. It's Denault. That put it up right over on Martin Jones. He had a right away mounting. It looks like I was seeing that. If that puck went right up there, did you know that Gavrikov was giving over to the null? It went straight up into the air and then went back down. That way, Martin Jones didn't really get that one saved out of here. He just didn't see where it was going. But all that did turn out, it was a tough one. Oh, that's a roughing call. And save inbound by Corbazzolo. They're going to hold on with just only 16.49 remaining in a second period of the game. Now both teams are set, ready to take the face off. The score now is now even game. 1-1 one one on LA and Seattle. Dowdy takes the puck over here right around the net. He gives the pass to Denault. Denault swings to Fiala. Fiala went bumping over it again. Dunn gives it over to Eberle. Everly racing over towards the net. Passes to McCann. Move around in the slot. Club saved by Corpusalo. He's really like in a heavy of a mood, but it really didn't stay like long enough to try to like improve it. They really are starting to go right around the, anybody else in the player. They're really that tar, tired of be finding out what everybody is getting into. And they really are starting to put inbounding to stop their run from attackers. Here's Everly, he will give it over to Osayek. Osayek in trouble. Fired around the net, and now Borgin will take it over, finding Beneers. Beneers fires it across on the other end of the net. Anderson will have it over into the wall, the corner. McCann trying to battle the loose puck. Now McCann got it over to Beneers. Beneers, right passes over to Osayek. Osayek moves it over. Club saved by Corpusalo. Got to hold the inbounding with under 15 minutes remaining in the first and second period. Most teams are inbounding. Right now it's still tied up as there's only ones ahead. Now with the win for Kopitar. He gives it over to Byfield. Byfield right towards the right wing to Kempe. With the shot by a stop made by Martin Jones. Byfield almost lost the puck here. No penalty call in Seattle. Great defense. Gordy trying to battle the puck from Kopitar and Kempe trying to reach out of it. Stop Bader and Bennett. Gonna hold the cover of the puck here for Martin Jones. And right now they're about to begin another faceoff. Wow, everybody's out there. <laughs> Take it more easy than you can say because they're really are starting to go bat battling for the inbounding. They really wanted to say. How can you ever do that? Because they were really starting to go inbounding like they did. Here's Tobin in. He will have it over. The puck went down, loosing right down to Gordy. And Osaya give it over again. To take the run and down. Tobin in shot stopped by Corpusalo. He's still holding on, but not giving up yet.
For no win, we have is Lizette. Anderson will try to give it off to Dowdy. Dowdy passes over again to Villardi. Villardi moving around with the sweep, the sweep move. Morstron trying to recover the puck here, trying to stop the Kings in the run. Morstron out of here, trying to pick up his own gap. Schwartz will have it over on the other side. Tries to go around Mountain, Schwartz over again. Had it up at the save by Corpusala. Now he will swing it over to Ayapalo. Fires it on the net. The Kraken regained their puck into their offensive zone. But now they're enter entering in the attacking zone. Bershaw fires his blocks. Anderson to Velarde now gives over to Ayapalo. Ayapalo fires it quick cross around the net. In the corner, Sauchi. Bullstrom. That passes doesn't even connect it here, and Roy will take it. Fires across, it's saved me by Jones. Jones really might have to be out there for so long. The most reason of it is he was the king of the sea monster of the goaltender. They really say that this was very the tough that everyone can respect on. Because Seattle Kraken never seen that how well they did. Here's a pass to Denault. Denault fires and stop Bay by Jones. Denault back to Fiala. Fires it again. Save me. Arvidsson trying to go around and stopped. Two time in a row. Jones over again right towards the net. Tries to move it across to Dunn. Moves it quickly over to Everly. Everly right towards it in the wing. The offense run picks up a stride. Save the pad. Fiala right into the left wing to Denault. Denault get a little bit bangle over. Dunn trying to battle it for the loose puck. Gavrikov back to Denault. Toward the board. Kaya mashes down. And Dunn right to Everly. Over to McCann. McCann all alone. Moving around the net. Stop a play down and we got a penalty call. Another slashing. There's Matt Roy. Matt Roy is just not really selling it what he was going to do because that slashed him, got to his attention on the rough start, and finishing off passing the midway period. Kraken are on a power play for tonight the second time as the Kings add another penalty kill. Kovatar wins the faceoff and Gabrikov will slide it back towards right to the Kraken zone. Now Tobinen will carry over with a deep pass to Schwartz. Schwartz finding it over right to the wing. Great fire shot and stopped made by Corpus Allo. Gavrikov will try to leave it out. Now he moves to Gordy over again in the offense zone for the Kings Fair territory. Gordy back to Schwartz. Shoot him the again. It's blocked and it deflected. Gordy around him. That shot went too wide. Done. Right over again in the inside, and it's up again by Kupazalo. Gordy trying to reset it up to Dunn, and Dursey takes his puck away. Just down to 40 seconds for the Seattle power play, 7.30 to go for the second period. Gordy trying to go over it again. Passes the Benier shot, and rebound stop made. I follow in the team, they're really are spreading it the truth out of here, but they just really keep on happening to try to take him out and over it. And he looks like he's ready to go for Matt Roy. Kopitar fires out. Power plays over for the Seattle Kraken. They're really well to try to keep him out of here. Thanks to Matt Roy, he really had it all down. And just to respect what they were saying, because you, you never seen what they were doing, Matt Roy didn't really keep up with the stick lift. He didn't really have a time right. And he went badly to try to take him over for me again. They can't lose it for the uh, right call, but this was very that tough that they really are trying to leave him out of here. They can't let that happen. But that's a great play for the defenseman for the Kings. Dunn back over to Veneers with the puck. Seattle back into the Kings territory. Pad to save me by Corpusolo. 5.30 to go in the second period, and Anderson will take it over. Passes to Arvidsson. Leaves it around the net. Dolman in, grabbing the puck again. Gives a pass. And they're going to get a delay penalty call 
Oh boy, this is not where we are showing here. The last game, Brewers and Bolts. But now, this happens again. You're not going to like to attempt to fight this all over it. They're worried and aggressive. You cannot slow them down. You don't have the right timing to do that. That's not your job to try to leave them out of here. And Kovatar, they noticed that the net went down. Veneers took him out. And it looks like right now, Matty Veneers is out. And I have to say this one here because of what happened already, this roughing call. He is suspended here for right bar in game four. It's not what you were supposed to do. You can't just let that go go away because of that one. It is a roughness and Denault is like out of here. Denault already made that roughing call and he's out. Thanks for your time here, Life Bulb. We appreciate it. Kopitar firing around the net. Now Dunn will try to give it over to McCann. Now they will add their five minute power play for the Kraken. And glove saved by Kopitar. Now we have a little report here from Ephone as right now Denault is out of the game. Any stats? Well, unfortunately for now, we've seen that Denault was out of here. And because of I did hear what the rep was saying, he was making a rough out of here right towards the block of, a, of the wall setup. He was ma making a mech run on a charge. He was not even to try to do any of each game that he was trying to leave him out of here. We've seen some couple players that were already been out and, and gone because of their uh, ruling of Satanic and already been disqualified. That won't happen to be a changeup if they are going to take another one to do it again. That may be happening to one of the players that could happen to be a, a cause of the, of the cruel of this game. It's crucial. You can't just let anybody else take over and try to slam him down. And that's all that it goes for. I'll be watching here for one of the Krakens if they take the power play. Back to you guys. Done back to McCann with only 3.20 left in the power play for the Kraken and 3.20 for the second period. Here goes the Weinberg and shot. Scores! Back in the lead is the power play goal for the Kraken of McCann. Here you go. That's what they call it because without the note, here it is. That's what the goal comes in. Just the right moment. Well, well, well. This was McCann that made that one a great stop. And that one with one with one per layer that got a power play goal. They will have to keep that one going if they do it again. Schwartz rebounded it and it's stopped by Corbisalo. Mullardi firing around. It across toward the wall. Now back to Tobin. Tobin and passes Schwartz. Over it again to Gordy. Gordy right toward it, fired it, and Corpusella save. Now he will hold the puck here with only 2.37 remaining in the second period. Now both teams are set, ready to take the face off in the offense wing zone. Kraken back in the lead by one. Kraken wins the face off, fired it, good snatch by Corpusella with the save. Yeah, that easy catch, I mean you can't just get rid of him. They're really are saying how you can never slow that down. They're really, really well. Or Sean into the wing. Now they will get a two minutes to get it. But not this time! McCann gets two goals in the game! That was wow. A wow quick shot and Jared McCann just did this the second time. If he gets three, he will get a power play. That's nothing but that he has done because if it's part of his goal, he never really wanted to get a goal in each case, right against the Los Angeles Kings. But I noticed that it was a very that tough that all they were saying, they are keeping it good for us once. Now Tobin and will give it over to McCann. McCann moving around. Back to Wendberg from the outside in the reaching zone. McCann keeps it. Bouchon! Rebound and save by Corbisalo. Anderson will grab the puck here and fire it out. Jones will set it over to Dunn. McCann has the puck here right towards the King's territory. 
Down to our last man to go in the second period. It is a 3-1 to lead, and Don recovering it. Oh, the shot stopped by Corpusalo. Jersey fires it out. 45 seconds for the power play of Kraken. Tovinen putting it back over to McCann. McCann trying to keep it out of here. Musa Borstrad fires across and Corpusalo saves. 26.4 seconds for the second period, and we got some time to get it rehydrated and be ready. Now both teams are set, ready to take the face off here in the offense zone of the wing. Los Angeles will win the face off. Moving all the way toward the back of the net. This is it, 10 seconds and it's done. Schwartz right in the middle, fires and shot save. Power plays over, and the second period too. And now we'll do it, McCann with two goals, looking for his hat trick to get three. We'll be right back with the third period after this break. This is it, Seattle to move on after game four and win or go home for Los Angeles Kings. Let's get going. Well, it's been a one fantastic night, and we all say Seattle Kraken advancing to the next round if they win against the Los Angeles Kings on a shout-out series. Well, the one thing I really can talk about at that point, they're really that good. They really are doing a lot much harder than they have done. Out scores. Now they have it up back up by one, down by one, and they will get put in byfield to take the goal to the start of the third period. I say it looks like quit in byfield really had that one that could be subtly in with a, with a tough inbound. When that goal was released out there, he was making a tip in and bounding, and he didn't really see where it was going to go in, but all it did was coming along, it was knocked out of here. So they were trying to make it quick and release the setup. Dunn back over to Gamble Larson. Passes to McCann. McCann towards the wing, back to Demonir. Shot saved by Corpozalo. Kicking the puck back out of Veneer is over again to Larson. Now to Everly. Shot. Rebound is off again. Kemp McCann. Over three. Veneer is trying to hold on with the puck. Lays it out of here. Erdusen trying to pull it out with the man opener. Dowdy right towards the outside. Back to Byfield. Lost the puck here. Well, Byfield will try to hair carry here. And he scores a tie this game. That's his third goal in the playoffs of Art Anderson. And now they got a tie. Well, I'm sure enough, they're not just going to try to like leave it alone. They just want to make a comeback and tie it up. Drew Dowdy with the assist and put up the run and it's now a tie game series into threes. Looking for our next goal to bring up the lead to win it again. Dowdy will have it over to Anderson. Popping over to Arvidsson. Arvidsson right to the wing, back to Fiala. Fiala went boomingly down. Still a lot of time for this period. It is still a threes in this game. Seattle trying to block the shot more. Now we're on the other side. Woo, hello. Fiala right in the middle. Rebound it up. And Jones with a save. Or shot over right towards the center. Now into the right wing. Roshan, oh, Arvidsson just got a little piece of that one, got a little aggressive in the dirty play. Well, it may have been happening already. If, it's a, it was, if it was too dirty out there, you're not going to have that time to make that plenty of, of more penetrating to anybody. They really are starting to lose it. They can't just lose it to anybody else. They wanted to make that one clear. Roshan saved by Corvus Hollow with a set stop. 15.38 remaining in the third period. Now they're ready to do another face-off here in the Kings territory. The score still tied, looking for our next goal to take the lead. Win for Seattle. That pat stop again. 
Recovering the puck is Gordy. On the back hit and scores! Getting back in the lead is the Kraken team. Gary Gordy gets two goals in the playoffs. I know that backhand was turning out very nice. Yanni Gordy really got that one in, right in covering. He got a good timing right towards the net. And he had that one right into the playoff of the position. Back in the last game, he was definitely on a good accomplishment to make that one a goal towards his future of the career step. He's really stepping up, up to his next rhythm. On his run, he keeps that one right on a good run. Keeping it right nice and clean. Donato rebounding it stopped by Corpusalo and now it goes back the other way to Kayev. Borgin take the puck to Gordy. Fire it around the net. Anderson Dolan has that puck. Try to pump it out of here. Now Gabrikov will try to take it over right towards the middle. Inside the wall, Gabrikov. Third shot. Rebound is out and stopped away by Sprunge. Sprunge on the right around the net. Finding an open player and inbounding to Gordy to Borgia. Now to Ned, we'll take it back to, to Sprunge. Now he's on the move. For his next stop, shot blocked. Sprunge made it happen here right toward the wing. Looking for another zone. And it blocked it away. Kaliev right into the neutral offense zone to pick up a rubber run around the net and rebounding is Alex Sayek. Alex Sayek to Sprunge. Sprunge went down very heavy. Roy into the wing of his own. Try to stop him. Roy is still getting away. Well, it's not what everybody does. They, they really say they, they're just going to like stop them. They can't just lose it to anybody else who wanted to try to make that team go away with that. All they did was, they were right around it, and they can't just find it what they were going for. Wow, that's a big smash down for the King to put a stone on them. Now he's to pass the Kempe shot. Hit it off with the pad. Larson, gives it over again to the other side of the player. Now he's on the move. Rolling from the right end. To the middle. Saved by Corbisala. We're under 11 minutes remaining in the third period. It's still a 4-3 lead. Now we're ready to do another one again. Back to a one-point lead for Seattle. They have a 4-3 lead. Now the win comes up. Jersey. He dishes off to Walker. Finding over is Kempe. Kempe right towards him to the right wing. And Don gives it over to Everly. But he is trying to hold it with the puck. Goes passing back to McCann. The done. Kopitar takes it away. Walker carries the puck out. Now Walker will try to take it over from here. Back to Kempe. Back to Jersey. Over again to Kopitar. Kopitar passes it by field. Held up and done. Moving it out of here to Veneers. Now that's a bet better defensive play in this set. They really are starting to go underway to try to head their way to the next spot. They want to do it for good. They want to finish it, and that's what they call Kraken, the, dominus, the dominant crusher, that they really done that. And Seattle wins the, wins the faceoff, and they were now the play resumes with only 9-13 remaining. And that backhanded with the back pass of the shot goes off with the pad. Arvidsson right again to Fiala. Trying to blow a little bumbling contact. Fiala to Dursey. Get a little smack out of it. Wemberg right in the middle finding Schwartz. The Kraken are back into their offensive attack run. Corbizala moves the puck out of here right towards the net. Inside! Oh man, that Corpozalo save! 8.14 to go in the third period. Looking for another run to keep it on. And now we have the call. Vince Dunn. Vince Dunn was doing really well to keep his team alive. His offense run was putting a nice effort on them and trying to keep on going. This ultimate range is putting up a successful for the team 
to advance it. I'll be watching here for the finishing game. Wenberg into the right wing, left wing in Shebeck. Now Dowdy has it over. Looking over towards the back. Leaves it out. Now it will be Larson taking the puck over. Here's a pass to Wenberg. Right towards Borstrom. And it went bumbled out. And Dowdy will try to give it over again. Ryan rolling on the offside, and it is the call. Offside is on LA Kings. Now they're ready to take another faceoff puck into the neutral's offense on the zone towards the Kraken territory. And Lazette wins the faceoff for the Los Angeles Kings. Los Angeles back into the offense zone. Jones pick up a huge save with 631 remaining. Los Angeles goes back with another win. Take the puck back to Anderson. Stick lifted. Lizette. Good stop by Jones. That's two in a row. When you ever they call him for Martin Jones, they were really just saying that you've got to keep that puck to try to cover it. They really are starting to go right towards the inbounding of this offense. They're trying to snatch it right away. But they want to tie it. No, they don't. They never really want to get away with it. Borjohn on a racing attack. Dowdy. Finds Lizette. Lizette right inbound. And he lost the puck. Goes out of reaching. Back to the King zone. Alright, Anderson right over with the puck. Now in again to Dowdy. Drew Dowdy right towards the corner of the wall. Pass to Villardi. Hold it and bounding. And Fortune takes the puck. Now with only five minutes to go in the third period. Trying to let the clock wind down, but it won't stop until it keeps on coming. Dowdy right toward again to I follow. Puck is out of reach. Seattle back into the offense zone for Borgen right again to Tobinen. Tobinen keeps it alive, and it's stopped again by Gavrikov. Kobitar gives it back to Dowdy. Pulls it out hit into the home bleacher side. Osayek right over with the inbounding puck. Now back to Veneers. Veneers right towards the right wing. The offense picking up their steam by field again with only 339 remaining. Now putting up the attackers. Right to Everly. It's already been stuffing out. Back to Dunn. Now we can. It's back on ice. Looking for three. Move around it with a good play move. But not enough to get the shot. That stopped again by Corpozzolo. I know he was going to do. If he was going to make that play through to make that a good drive, he would have had that one right away to get that one right as set of this line setup. This changing may not be that tough of again, but you know, that's what everybody does here for so far. They've done really good. They're keeping it going out there. We're trying to find out if we can get the puck out of here. And Jones pick up another save to Dunn to Borshawn. Borshawn on the attack. Byfield! Oh, it just went right towards the crease. Borshawn right over and again in the offense zone. In the attack run right over with two minutes to go in the third period. Still a 4-3 lead. Seattle looking for a way to punch their way over to the conference finals to face against the winning team. Lizette finds back to Roy. Looking in the wing. Lizette shot. Had a save by Jones. Dive over it again. Trying to make a move out of it. Now Gavrikov trying to fight for freedom. Army sitting to Lizette. They're bringing a man advantage on. And now it's under one minute left to remain in the third period. Army sitting over again. Adding an extra skater on. Arvidsson, shot, and Borgen takes the puck out of here. Passes over again. Kraken back in the offense zone. He gets fumbled down. Not this time. Everly to McKinnon, shot, and scores! 
I mean, they're not going to count that call. They're never really going to count that. They say he's in the crease end. And as right now, it has been denied because the puck went in the crease end. Hey, officials are saying it is a no goal. Yeah, I checked the replay out there. What happened here, that McCann went right toward the crease end and he went out. But the puck went right in the crease end towards the goaltender. It didn't really stand a chance because they were already been knocking it out. They shouldn't let this happen before because it was already too much of a big of a deal. Now back to this game to close it off in the third period. Back to you. Man skater on, Anderson Dolan, saved by Jones. Man oh man, the Martin Jones sea monster crushes it. Getting another face off here in this run. Kraken has a 4-3 lead over the Kings. And here's Walker. And back save. 10.5 seconds in the third. They're trying to get the win here. They want to do it badly. They want to say, we're going to the finals of the championship game. The win for Seattle. Kabari lost the puck. Borgin, Tolman, and their team are moving on to the conference finals for the first time in the franchise history of two NBA, not really, NHL on the A Sports. Well, this has been a fantastic night. I'm going to tell you now, Seattle Kraken, no way to be, bound, be bounding up in game five because you know they've been the best team to be in it for the second annual of the night. Well, as we said right now, pay pressure along with light bulb and beef phone. This has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs of the Western Conference semifinals of the Pacific Coast. Thanks for joining us and have a great night, everyone. All right, Paintbrush, thank you very much for your time. And now we are getting the three star players of the game. The third star as we started off with first Quinton Byfield. A goal, assist, and hit. Only hit her turn out just like the goal did. The second star going to the other end of the sideline for the crack, and we have Jared McCann. Two goals and a hit. He did turn out well with two power plays in this advantage. We really did turn out like he did. And your first star, we all say, can you know that Jonas Corpozalo made that huge save? 62 was the best saving ability that he had turned out. Now for your total statistics for game four. 66 to 37 for the Seattle and Kraken of the, and, uh, over Los Angeles Kings. 21 to 13 LA Kings over Seattle. Time on attack was 634 to 432 for Seattle. 92% passing over 87 pass, 87 percentage for the passing of the LA Kings. Then 22 faceoff wins for the Kings over Seattle. Penalty was too many. That is out for the Kings to try to stop them. And only five minutes for Seattle for fighting. Only two power play goals and nine minute power play minute on ice. Well, that is it. Seattle Kraken. Moving on to the conference finals to face against the winning team as you will see them tomorrow night's game at 10 p.m. of the Wilds and Avalanche. That will be the next game happening here tomorrow night. So make sure you keep your eyes tuned to keep your to keep ahead of the game on an early track run. And enough stories for being said. Peace out for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. This is Son of Beast thanking you for watching. See you all in day number two of tonight's double header game. Rangers and Canes and Colorado Avs and Wilds. Until next time. Bye bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.